If shear stress is distributed on a section, let me just consider a rectangle for simplicity. And there is a shear force that acts on a section. Say shear force is V and area of the section is A. If I want to determine what is the average shear stress on a section, I would determine that simply by dividing force by area. But this is going to be the average shear stress. But shear stress distribution is not uniform on a section. It would have zero value on top and on the bottom, and it is maximum at the center rate. Okay? So in this case, if we want to determine the maximum shear stress on a section, we need to use stress equation that we just determined, VQ over IT. Average means that if I have one small area, then I can assume that stress is uniformly distributed on a section. We just saw that stress is not uniformly distributed on a section, right, like on a rectangle. So I want to know if I have this equation for shear stress, which we proved that in the previous lecture, VQ over IT, and describe that in a way like this, a K factor multiplied by average shear stress, V over area. How much is that K factor for this shaft? K factor would be a number at the end. Okay. Area of a circle is pi over 4 diameter squared. Moment of inertia is pi over 64 diameter to the fourth. Some of you ask, is it really pi over 64 or is it pi over 32? Pi over 32 is for j, not for moment of inertia i. Now, the other parameter that we need to know in this case would be q max. That would be 1 over 12 diameter cubed. All right, now I'm going to plug that back into stress equation, VQ over IT. I'm just going to plug V here. Q is 1 over 12 diameter cubed. Moment of inertia is pi over 64 diameter to the fourth. What is the thickness that we need to consider? We want to determine the maximum shear stress. Maximum shear stress is going to be at the centroid. So the thickness that we are going to cut would be equal to the diameter. So I'm just going to write D here. Now let me simplify that. V is just V. Pi diameter squared over 4 is going to be A. So 64 divided by 4 is going to be 16. And we have another 4 in 12. So that would be 4 over 3 V over A. So the K factor is 1.33 in this problem. All right. Now, what if we have the same problem? But instead of circle, we are working with rectangle. What is the difference in the process? Think about this and tell me what is the difference between the process of doing the problem in this case.